Abdul Rahim Surya, Chairman Subcommittee for Best Corporate Report Awards on the way forward to bring more transparency in corporate reporting. Mr. Abdul Rahim Surya needs no introduction, but still I would introduce him also. Uh, as a fellow member of ICAP and ICMAP, he is a past president of ICAP and presently a council member. He has been a member of the International Accounting Education Standards Board for six years. He has over 27 years of experience experience in the field of accounting, auditing, corporate finance, and operational management. He's a professional trainer on the subject of finance for non-finance executives and has recently authored a book on a guide to business decision making. A dedicated and a hardworking leader and a towering personality behind this event. Please welcome Mr. Surya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I welcome all of you to this 11th program of award ceremony because it's the 11th day of the month, 11th month of the year and 11th year of the century. First of all, I thank our Indian guest, Mr. Raman, who has visited six times in the current year as a SAFA chairman. And we are expecting to be here again six times in December because Rafisa would be taking over from him as a president from 1st January. So he'll uh, make the record this year. This event is a very good symbol of a strong relationship between the two professional institutes, which is ICAP and ICMAP. My dear guest, the buzzword in today's business is transparency. Transparency leads to accountability. As you all know that IFRS required so many disclosures for achieving transparency. But my dear Yakub used to say that the steel professional management prepares separate set of accounts despite so many disclosures required by IFRS. So we help you to provide more information through annual reports. A good annual report helps external stakeholders like shareholders, bankers, creditors, investors to know about an organization by providing additional information. Those additional information may be required by good practices and may not be necessarily required by law. It is very interesting to note that there is no specific law requiring to produce and publish annual report for which we are competing today. In fact, financial statements and other reports and statements are required by different authorities for a variety of stakeholders. For the 11 years we are conducting this competition and we have seen significant improvements in best presented accounts. The objective of this award is to encourage and give recognition to excellence in annual corporate reporting and also to promote corporate accountability and transparency through publication of timely, factual, and readers-friendly information. It is to be noted that stakeholders, especially investors, equate high-quality annual reports with high-quality management. Annual report is one of the important medium through which stakeholders obtain knowledge about a company for their economic decisions. An elaborate criteria has been evolved over the years, which is based on which is used as a basis to evaluate the best corporate report. The corporate report, the criteria not only comprise of mandatory requirements of the company's ordinance and code of corporate governance, but it also encourages companies to adopt best practices being followed all over the world. In this context, the new word is management commentary. Management commentary is a narrative report but not part of the financial statement. Management commentary is recommendatory, but not mandatory. It's not an FPFRS. It is being recommended by the International Accounting Standard Board for preparation. The details may be read from my article, which is published today in our Pakistan Accountants magazine. Uh, my dear guest, I would like to share with you uh, only a few highlights, which are part of our criteria as a British as an additional requirement for the disclosure in the annual report, but which is not necessarily required by law. Under the head director's report, we expect companies to show the nature of the business, including business model discussions, management's priorities for addressing threats and opportunities, critical performance measures and indicators used to measure performance of the entity, and whether these will continue to be relevant in future. 
might be sharing information to preferably from independent source. Under disclosure of financial statement, we encourage to show segment analysis, cash flow statement based on direct method, fair value disclosures of property, plant and equipment. It's under the head stakeholder uh, information, we require six years data for cash flow statement in a summarized form, vertical and horizontal analysis. Ratios. The code does not give any list of ratios, but we have suggested a list and its suggested formulas are also placed on our websites. For report presentations, the theme of the cover has some marks as well as effectiveness of the photographs and the relevance of effectiveness of the charts and graphs for disclosing financial information which is reported in financial statements and calendar of the major events during the year. Under the head corporate governance, we expect companies to produce and publish accounts in time and the time deadline for getting full marks is 45 days. We expect chairman of the board should be other than CEO but court just say word preferably. Disclose name of the independent directors and non-executive directors, profile of the directors and their engagement in other entities. We expect for marking purpose that all members of the audit committee should be non-executive director but the code only says it should be majority. Organization chart, criteria to evaluate board's performance and CEO performance review. Now we have to look forward. What is the way forward after so many disclosures? Our committee is always on look to find new things and the one idea which transpired from those studies is that the financial statement or say the annual report should contain forward looking information. When management is aware of trends, uncertainties of, or the other factors that could affect the entity's liquidity, capital resource, revenue and the results of its operation. And it should also disclose how and why the performance of the entity is short, meets or exceeds forward looking disclosures made in the prior year. The relationship between the entity's results, management's objectives and management's strategies for achieving these objectives. We also expect that the annual report should cover an analysis of the prospects of the entity which may include targets for financial and non-financial measures. Targets if quantified, management should. Management should explain the risk and assumptions necessary for users to assess the likelihood of achieving those targets. I am very pleased to inform you as mentioned by our president also that Pakistani companies have been recognized at SAFA level. Last year two companies PPL and Siemens got the overall first position. Apart from these two companies, there were companies who got uh, good recognition were the Faisal Bank, Sanofi Aventis, Al Ghazi Tractors. They got winner and second runner position in their respective categories. And merit of certificates were awarded in 2009 to MCB Bank. Askiri Bank, Atlas Insurance, Jubilee Insurance, First Abhi Mozarbar, Atak Petroleum, Atlas Honda and Crescent Steel for awards for 2010 for SAFA uh, awards. List have been finalized in the uh, current week and I am pleased to tell you that Mr. Rafi who is the Chairman of Joint Committee will announce those winners in his concluding speech today. As has not been said about the sustainability report, I am sure that this award will bring a new era in the view of corporate reporting in Pakistan. With this, I, before I say thank, I will quote here one quotation that says, learn from yesterday, act today, hope for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Surya, uh, for highlighting the future expectations in the corporate reporting. As IESP says that future corporate reporting will not only provide retrospective information, but it will also cover forward-looking aspects and disclosures. I think it would be the biggest challenge for the years to come. Uh, and now I think we will break for Asar prayers uh, for 10 minutes, and uh, in 10 minutes time we will reassemble. Re the arrangement for the prayer is right.